Okay, hi Nick. Hi. Uh, hi Hortensia. Hello, how I'm are you? Good, thank you. I'm Claire. Um, so, I hear you have a music video. Yeah. Will you tell me about it? Yeah, well it's a music video for an artist named Rebecca Jordan. And she's a singer-songwriter who writes a lot of songs for uh, big artists, like John Legend, Alicia Keys. Uh, she had a big hit with Kelly Clarkson a few years ago. And um, she's working on her solo career. And um, so we got together with her and her group to uh, make a music video for this song, Eve, which uh, we fell in love with when we heard. And so that's what our music video is at uh, the Macon Film Festival. How did you meet Rebecca? Well, actually, we, we were uh, friendly. She was out of New York. We were in New York. She was in L.A. We did an exchange at the time. We just sort of stayed in touch, and we became fans of her. We followed some of her performances and some of her small club uh, shows, and I just really thought she was an extraordinary songstress and really became a fan. So then when she had this song and, and it, you know, it was time to sort of put something together, uh, it was just sort of a natural. Uh, we knew each other and we were fans to, to, to come together and do this with her. We had enthusiasm for her. I mean, it's interesting how we met. It was, it was funny because we actually were visiting Los Angeles and she had an apartment for rent. And so we actually rented her apartment for a few days and that's how we met. That was our initial introduction. So it was actually wasn't business at first. And so we became friendly and then when we found out that she was also an actress and a musician, we stayed in touch. Oh, so you found out afterwards, after yeah, you moved Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So it was kismet. Um, can you tell me about Eve, what the story is behind it, and what her vision for it was throughout the process of making the video? Sure. I mean, it was a collaborative um, approach. I mean, we pitched her the idea of um, iconic women, you know, um, and she loved that idea. So then we asked her what women she felt that, you know, a kinship toward. And so she chose Cleopatra and this woman, Loie Fuller who we'd never heard of, who's this dancer that's the fabric that's spinning uh, that you see in the video. She pioneered this unusual dance technique with these long arms with fabric, colored lights. And she actually invented the gels, like all the gels in these lights and that we take for granted as film people. This woman, Loie Fuller, invented that back in 1910, 1919, I'm not sure exactly, but early in the 20th century. And um, it's, uh, I, Rebecca knew about this. I don't know, it was kind of strange. And um, so we chose Loie Fuller, Cleopatra. Uh, Billie Holiday was also an icon of hers. So, and, um, and then we came up with other suggestions. Um, you know, so the video has five or six different representations of, of women that Rebecca, in various incarnations, you know, feels an affinity for. It was just sort of going along with the theme of Eve and her, her when she wrote the song and I asked her about this, she was just sort of uh, ruminating on the idea of, of, of Eve and what that means and, and the history of Eve as it's been laid on women throughout, you know, throughout history. And, uh, she, you know, she wasn't necessarily redefining Eve, but she wanted to speak about that. Uh, and so, of course, I jumped on myself with the idea of we want to represent then uh, the essence of womanhood, what, you know, the essence of Eve is just really just women and how to do that other than through iconic women that might represent different phases of our history. And, and that was sort of the thrill for me, the idea of um, rehabilitating Eve, if you will, uh, in terms of just how she's perceived uh, and it's just, a, it's a woman and it represents all of us. So it's just sort of playing with that theme without making specific statements. If you listen to the lyrics, um, they're very unusual in terms of what she's saying about Eve and her role in the world and how people perceive her. I mean, Eve swallowed a dream is the chorus. Wow, what does that mean? You know, is she, you know, subverting, you know, sub, uh, putting, pushing down her own femininity and power to acquiesce to the world around, or is she actually eating the dream, you know, to make it part of her inside? I mean, there's a lot of different levels to the lyrics and how you can interpret them, and I, I thought it was really interesting Are these inspirational. Are these themes that she visits a lot in her music, do you know? As far as I know, it's not. I, in our conversation, it was just the particular inspiration this time, this song, and so she, she addressed it. It was a theme that at the time was in her mind. 
uh, thinking about women and what that meant. And so this came out of that for her. I don't think that it's a running theme in her work. Uh, but she's a, a wonderful songstress, songwriter. Yeah. Um, I, I certainly would love to see her come more as a performer, to be recognized more as, as a performer. Yeah, I think she writes a lot of love songs. Mm -hmm. And this is, in a way, a love song. You know, it's a great part of that. song, indeed. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. We're glad to have you at the film festival. Thank you so much, Claire. Thank it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.